Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Edith with a new Pilates session. Today I have something really special. I was requested to make a class for ladies being in a very blessed condition, being pregnant, expecting a baby. So congratulations to all of you. But of course, everybody else can do these exercises. So just a couple of words like it's nice if you avoid contact sports in this period and also don't choose those exercises, those sports which is making you sweat a lot. So instead of hot yoga, hot pilates, just choose the regular ones. And also the very high heart rate exercises, high intensity exercises are not the best choices in this period of your life. One more thing is about the inner thigh muscles. It's really good if you can avoid those exercises which is making them contracted, strong or even moderated. So just stay soft with these lovely muscles. And then uh, also about the position of the exercises. So it's uh, just one thing is uh, being supine, so laying on your back in the third trimester, it's not recommended or just making exercises for a very short time. So today I'm already getting prepared for it. So I just have a couple of exercises laying on your back, but most of them standing, sitting on the chair. So let's get a chair with you and also laying on your side, being on your hands and knees. These are absolutely fine and you can make your whole body strong and fit. So if you wanna have a healthy baby, first of all, you have to be healthy and then you can create a beautiful life and grow it. So then, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, also about the bottles filled with water can be optional if you want to use little weights, light weights through these exercises. So let's stand with our feet hip wide apart to start. Move your knees, move your legs, and just find your balance. Roll front and back to your toes, to your heels, and then stop in your center. And also move your legs side to side and find balance, really good center and equal weight on each feet. Then let's check yourself on your knees. They can be slightly bent. Your shoulders relax. Lengthen the back of your neck, so reach up with the middle of your head. And then let your arms just to hang and close your eyes. And then let's do just a couple of breathing once you are concentrating, once you are noticing what your breath is doing as you inhale and as you exhale. So do nothing, just notice. our breath. So let's make a deep inhale through your nose and a very long and slow exhale through your mouth. And then you can keep your eyes closed or slowly open them. And we're gonna start mobilizing our neck first. So let's bring your head, tilt your head forward and then look up to the ceiling and move your eyes are open. One more time, forward and back up. Bring your head to center, then tilt your head to the right. Try to keep your shoulders aligned, not move them and then to the left. There is a little movement automatically to elevate one side of your shoulder. Now let's try to go against with one hand. So if you go with your head to the right, let's reach down with the left hand and then switch. And switch. 
adjust to the other side and back to your center. Now we're gonna have our feet like shoulder wide and doing some squats with inhale and exhale. Up with the arms, inhale, down, exhale. hands behind you, pull your shoulders back, open your chest and then bring your hands forward, pull your shoulders, your arms forward and back. One more time. Okay, so now we moved already our shoulders, our neck and the upper back. So let's continue, we're going to do a step outside with arm work. So if you want, now you can start using your buckles. So arms in front of you and as you step out, open your arms. Exhale, center, inhale, exhale. Back and front, back 
and from. And try to don't tilt now with your pelvis. We have done that to stay stable and then just swing easily. It's not about how far you can go, it's about how much you can control with your muscles. So feel that your hip is stable. Only your knee is swinging from and back. And let's do five, four, three, two, one. And go down and switch your legs. So find a good balance, square hip, lift one knee with your foot and bring your knee swinging. Feel that the front of your hip and your abdominal muscle is lengthening. And let's do five, four, three, two, one, and leg down. Now we take away the chair for a bit. Soon we need it again, so just keep it close by. And then we're gonna now come back to our weights. So let's get your feet to be shoulder wide apart, arms in front of you, bend your knees. So here it's very important to your abdominals being activated and just hold your arms in front of you, shoulders down and just hold your arms with a slightly bent elbows. Then open and close, open, close and hold on the front, I'm counting, five, four, three, two, one, open and hold here, five, concentrate to your arms, three, two, one, front, abdominals active, five, four, three, two, one, and to the side, five, four, three, two, one, one more time now, let's do a little movement, pulsing up and down, just the arm moving from the shoulders, torso is stable, abdominals active, and three, two, one, and go to the side, up and down, you can fly, and let's do five, four, three, two, one, and go down. Now, let's sit down. So, how are we gonna do now? Sitting on the chair, nice and tall, to find a place where you have equal weight on your sit bones, and then also front and back, roll a bit, to find the balance once you are sitting on the top of your seat bones. Then, let's keep one leg stable and then the other one is going to move. So let's slide one leg forward and then lift once just straightening the leg. And then bend the knee, lift your knee up, open, front, down, slide and lift. Lift your knee, open, close, and down. Every time just check yourself. It's nice if you have your fingers on your hip to don't roll back or front with the exercise. So your torso is nice and stable. Front, knee up, side, front, down. So we are not in rush, absolutely not in rush, but more to improve our Control and up and open. Slide up, open. And we're gonna do this three more times. Keep stable. We have two more for this side. The last one. Stable position, slide your leg forward, lift, lift the knee, open, close. 
close and down. So your other leg is really good that it's on the floor and keeping you in the same position. Up, oh. So the breathing is always a good tool to help us move into the right direction and don't lose our control. And we have three more to do. Just the last one. And go down. Now this was really hard for the for the hip extensor. So we're gonna have some stretch. So let's stand up. Come on your chair, lift up one foot behind you, hold your foot and try to get your heel close to your buttock without tilting back with your hip. So abdominals are quite active and try to get your knees close to each other, abdominals still contracted and try to get your knee further backward so you can help yourself with your hand to pull your foot further back but until your pelvis doesn't change its position so you're gonna feel the stretch in the front of your thigh front of your hip and maybe in your abdominals so knees going back and back and back try to keep your shoulders low lengthening the back of your neck so you're standing in an upright position, concentrating for your right leg and abdominal wall to be in a good stretch. And let's go slowly down and switch. So really all the exercise is about more and more control. So it's not about rushing, not about running or jumping, no. This is about control. So abdominals active, knees next to each other. You feel already a stretch in front of your thigh. And then let's try to get your knee further back. Maybe you notice one side, the other side are different. It's absolutely normal. We are all uneven, so yeah, we notice sometimes one side of our body is more flexible, other side is stronger. Yeah, just keep breathing during the stretch and keep your shoulders low. Nice, good, upright. And then slowly let your leg going down. Then we're gonna go for our supine position exercises. So slowly, if you cross your legs, that's really helpful to sit down. And then slowly roll on your back. Make sure you have space for your arms. We're gonna have arm arcs. So let's just first bring your arms up to the ceiling and elevate your shoulders, reach up with your fingers and then pull your shoulders low Low, low, slow. So shoulder touching the ground nice and wide. Inhale up, exhale down. And in the same time, while you are keep doing this, check yourself if you can press the back of your neck a bit more into the mat. It's nice if you don't have your ponytail there. Keep moving up and down with your arms. Inhale up, exhale down. And then check your ribs as well. So try to, to bring your ribs together. Don't flare up with them. And one more time, inhale, exhale. And then keep your shoulders nice touching the ground, nice and wide. And then let's bring your arms next to your ears. And then all the way up to the ceiling. Keeping your, the, the abdominal muscles around your ribs contracted. So bringing the arms towards the floor and back up. And five. If you feel 
feel that your ribs are flaring, then it's nice if you bring your arms to your ears. Exhale, inhale up. That's happening. Exhale, always happening to contract muscles. Yes, that's five. Now we made more. Never mind. Arms up. And then let's lift one leg up and go down. Keep your knee bent. Up and down. Just one leg at a time. And now let's add the movement of the arms as well. So starting the leg and arms up. Very important if you feel like once you, you bring your arms and the leg down and you feel that your low back, your back is getting up from the floor then don't go that far. So in that case, you make just a tiny, tiny movement until you feel that you can keep control of your core. So in that case, your movement is going to be just a little like this. And you can slow it down as well, of course. As slow as you do, as much you can control. And let's do three, two, one, and change legs. So first, just change the alignment of your hip, nice and square. Your low back is touching the ground or almost touching the ground. And then first, just the movement of your leg. Exhale, inhale. Inhale up, 
exhale down. Maybe the same thing if you can feel it's happening, flaring the ribs once you bring your arms up, then you can change the breath. Exhale, inhale. Three more times. Two more. The last. And slowly let your spine roll down one vertebra at a time. And relax easily. Okay, then let's hold the back of your legs, helping yourself to roll up. If I turn my staff to the other way, and we're gonna continue with those exercises which was originally supine, laying on your back, but now we're gonna do it holding us on our elbows behind. So now our already our torso is upright. So first, let's just see what is our range of motion for our torso from this position. What we can do? Hands down, underarms down. This is what we are holding ourselves on. So from here, you can sink down, all the way down. So your shoulders are getting really close to your ears. And from here, you can open your chest all the way up. And then let's do a couple of times this. You, you notice your pelvis is rolling front and back. You're just moving your own rhythm. Just check where the end of the range of motion is. So how far you can go and touch the ground. And then how much you can open your chest in front of your abs and go down. And now let's stop in the center. So what you have to feel, the lower abdominals are active and in that case your low back is straight, kind of straight, and your whole upper body, your whole torso is straight as far as you can. So you gaze your eyes kind of diagonal way in front of you, lengthening the back of your neck. And now let's lift up one leg to tabletop. Lift up the other leg as well, and now let's lower one leg, bring it up, lower the other leg. So pay a lot of attention to your pelvis, don't let it roll with every single repetition. So only your leg, control of your abdominals, control of the pinic muscle, muscles which is holding you, and your position value. Let's do five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, now let's get your knees together. Those three, just hold them together. And then let's straighten your legs and bend. Front and bend. The same thing, try to don't roll your hip like back and front, but keep it stable. And just move slowly, then you're gonna notice how much strong you are. Maybe at the beginning you can just do a couple of these. But if you are fit and you used to train, of course, you can do a lot of that. And five, four, three, two, one, and go down. Now we're gonna do uh, lifting ourselves, holding on your hands, elbows are slightly bent, the same thing. Try to keep your upper body straight. Feet are shoulder wide apart. And then let's lift up your hip and go down. If you feel like something is too much for your wrists, then just bend your elbows a bit more and don't go that high with your hip. Let's do five, 
four, three, two, and one more. Okay, now let's keep crossing your one, one leg on front of the other knee. Lift up your hip. Now we're gonna do something like working on our triceps. So in the same time as you lower your hip, bending your elbow. And up. Up and down. It doesn't have to go really big movement, don't have to touch the ground. Just go up and down as you feel okay with that. Try to keep your hips square and making the same amount of bending with both of your elbows. Let's do three, two, one, and change. So let's see, one foot in front of the other knee. Align yourself, lift your hip. Lower your hip, bend your elbows. Up and down. And five. Four, three, two, one, and sit down, stay here, and as far as you can, come forward with your chest closer, your leg, so reaching forward, reaching forward, so this is a really good stretch, try to keep your shoulders wide, and let this knee going away from you. Direct this knee forward and more forward. And slowly change. And sit very tall. Yes. Sit tall. And try to touch your leg with your chest. Make deep inhale, long exhale. I cannot say times enough how much important to breathe slowly for every single stretch. And then let's go back. Now we're gonna continue on our side. So let's go down. Hold yourself on your underarm. If this is too much for you, absolutely fine if you go all the way down. And if it's necessary, place a pillow under your belly to have comfort. It's really stabilizing if you bend your knee, but of course you can do exercises with a straight legs, but I think it's a really good modification to hold you nice and stable. Then, also the alignment of the torso, very important, ribs up big distance between your ear and the shoulder. If you feel like you cannot hold yourself anymore, anytime during the exercise, you can change your position. So then, let's. Having both of your knees bent, and then bring one knee towards your chest, and straighten away, touch the ground. Lift, front, away, down. So then, what we do is, Checking ourselves all the time. Don't lift too high because then it's really easy to see. So just do your hip high, in and out and down. And the same thing, but slower movement, more control. Up, in, away, down. Checking your upper body again and again. Never enough to check ourselves. Do more of this and we're gonna continue with circle. This is the last. Keep your legs straight, check your alignment again, and tiny, tiny, slow circles. Keeping your core muscles really active, keeping your upper body straight. Change the direction. Little circles make them slow, slow, slow. Three, two, one, and go 
down. Okay, let's bend both of your knees and then come to your hand and we're gonna do lifting your hip. If it's necessary, you can straighten from one leg, then you can get more stable. And then from the arm up, and then lower your hip, lower your arm. Lift up and go down. It's the same thing. Don't rush. Try to avoid momentum. Up and down. This is too much for your hand. You feel that you cannot hold your shoulder well aligned. You can just go back to your underarm. Do the same thing. If you can, it's really nice if you can still hold yourself in the same position. And then let's switch for the next version. So your hand is coming behind your head. Let's rotate down and open your elbow up, open your chest with it, and three, two, last, and switching side, let's see, starting low with your upper body, so you have the option again to go all the way down or hold yourself on your underarm, bend knees, upper body straight and then let's bring your knee to your chest away touch the ground back up and from all the time check your alignment it's really easy to lose our alignment because all our body needs to work so it's really easy to get out from your form once you are concentrating to one muscle then you forget about another so that's why it's really good if you go through in your mind in your whole body let's do just one more lift and then point and then check yourself and then little circles don't let your hip come in with you. Let's get on like work. And to the opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, one, and go down. Bending the knees. If you want, you can lift yourself up with a straight arm. I mean, elbow slightly bent as always. Lifting your hip, arm up. Lower and belly. Go down and up. Try to don't lose the shoulder alignment, but feel that once your pelvis is lowering, you have a really good stretch on the side of your body. Two more times. And let's go for rotation. Hand behind your head. Go down and open your chest. Exhale, inhale. Two more times. And let's go down. Now we're gonna have some stretches. So let's get the sole of your feet together and having a diamond with your legs. Find the center, sitting on both of your sit bones equally and let's tilt your back forward as far as you can. You can help yourself pulling yourself, holding your feet. You can just bounce forward. Don't go to your very, very strong, very far limit. Just whatever you get the feeling of a stretch. And then slowly sit tall. Get your heels closer to you. 
Keep holding your feet, pressing your elbows into your legs. So yeah, then you are pressing your knees towards the floor and pulling your upper body forward and forward. Keep your upper body nice and long, reaching up with your head, reaching down with your shoulders and with your elbows. You can move a bit side to side, getting a further stretch and then stop in the center, slowly sit tall, help your knees to get lifted, straighten them, hands behind, shake your legs. Okay, then let's get your chair again. It's just for some movement of the spine. So instead of doing the cat and cow on your hands and knees, you can use the chair. So let's just find a stable position of the chair and hands on it. So, but in this case, try to have more body weight on your legs. Try to press your shin and your feet into the mat and then just a little weight on your hands. So let's pull your abs in, round your back and press with your hands your body further back. And for your inhale, open your chest and with the help of your hands elevate your chest higher and higher but keep the contraction of your abdominals. Exhale, back down. Inhale, open your chest, lift yourself up with the help of your hands, abdominals active, but longer and longer. Exhale, back. Feel that your abs are really active, pressing yourself further back with your hands. And inhale, up. Exhale, back. Last time, inhale and go back to neutral position. Take away your chair. And let's go to your hands and knees now in real. So, if you feel like this is too heavy for you to have your wrist under your shoulder, knee under your hip. You can take a step forward with your hands, so your hip and knee is still aligned, but you have less angle or a bigger angle of the degree of your wrist. Or if it's still too much, just go down to your elbows. So from here, let's see. Slide your right leg back. I'm going to be more forward. So. Right position, abdominals active, lengthen the back of your neck. You are really looking at your mat in front of you. And then slide your right leg back. And just hover above the floor, just a few centimeters. Don't lift, just hold above the mat. And then bring to the right, bring to the left. You can even slide, so, so feet touching the ground with your toe. And just move your leg right and left. It's not about bringing to the side because then it's really easy to fall and collapse. But really, and also not to the other side too far. So just stay in a controlled, small motion. One side, other side. So what you really have to concentrate on again, the pelvis the lower abdominals, the low back. So just feel that your lower abdominals are always active, holding your hip square. Two more times to each way. Last one. Back with one leg and straighten the other leg. Before you start, always check if your abs are still active, if you are not looking up, not looking down, not letting your head hang, 
not getting your shoulders to your ears. So nice and aligned position to start and reach back, activate everything and then go out and cross the other leg. One side, other side, without collapsing, without sliding to one side, other side. So only one leg is moving, but for that your whole body has to work to stabilize all the rest part of your body. And you have two more times to do and the last one and back to center and you have one more for for lifting arms and then we go for child pose so let's bring your right hand to left shoulder switch and again your whole body is working on to stay stable and just to move only one arm at a time so we're not gonna fall to one side. Once we lift one arm, we stay in the center. And let's do two more times each. One more time each. And shift your body weight all the way back. Sit on your heels and lower down to your child pose as far as you feel it's possible and move your body side to side make a deep inhale in your back make a long exhale stop in your movement bring your weight to your hands and lift yourself up come back to your quadruped position. From here, we're gonna do something like a push up, like position. So let's start, knees on the floor, and then bend your elbows, go all the way down, and then lift up your chest and go back. Forward, go down, chest up, Press your side back. What we're gonna do after we figure out what is the, the exercise, we're gonna be lowering our step very slow, bending the elbow. Five, four, three, two, one, and then lifting the chest, pressing your side back, and then go up again. Slow, 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 bending the elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Chest up, back. Three more times. Very slow, very slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Up and back. Two more times. Bending the elbows. Lowering your body, chest up, back, and the last one, five, four, three, two, one, and go back to your child pose again. Let's get your hands next to you, your arms relaxed next to you, and move side to side. If it feels more comfortable, get your knees wide and let your belly to be in between your legs. Deep inhale, long exhale. And then place your hands next to your knees and let you roll yourself up. Sitting tall. And then we're going to continue on our knees. So let's have your knees wide, your toes are touching each other, and then sitting tall on the top of your heels. Arms coming in front of you, 
you can imagine you are having a tree, so elbows are bent, shoulders are low, and these two are in kind of one line, not up, not down, so just try to get a good alignment, hugging this beautiful tree, and then once you lift up your hip, open your arms, and then hip is reaching forward, and then go back, inhale, exhale so yeah it's really important to open your chest but don't go too much forward so really in control more your hip reaching front two more times and then we're gonna have something extra so now we're gonna add rotation. Go up, inhale, exhale to side, exhale to other side, and back down, closing the arms. So so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. more times. And the last. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and close. Relax your arms, you can shake your shoulders a bit. That's fantastic. So then, from here, let's do some stretches. So let's get one leg on front, now one foot is on front and try to go into further than 90 degrees so your, your heel is much forward than your knee is abdomen is active, torso upright and then just shift your body weight front and back just try to go that far when you're, you are not collapsing forward and also your knee is not matching so no, not going much forward than your heel is. So you really feel one, you really want to feel the stretch in your hip. And just do two more times. Last. Okay, then place your hands on the floor next to your foot. Curl your toe, lift your knee. And then just stay here a bit. Lift up yourself a bit higher and then try to straighten the front leg and back. Straighten as far as you can. So it's not really uh, a must to be able to straighten absolutely. It's also difficult for me. But just try to feel this really good stretch in the back of your leg. Two more times. And slowly back down and then let's lift up your left arm open your chest reach up reach up and go down slowly lift your body up and change your legs so heel is forward then your knee and move front and back Keeping your pelvis square. Don't forget to breathe. This is also a stretch, but you can help with the right breathing. It's nothing difficult. Just try to slow down your breathing and make it deeper and deeper. Okay, then your hand is next to your foot. Straighten the back leg. You lift yourself up so you're almost just holding yourself on your fingers and straighten the front leg and the back. Straighten and back. Make it slowly. And two more times. The last. 
make your knee down, lift up your right arm, reach up as far as you can, stay in balance, and then slowly come down, and take a step back, from here lift up yourself for a squat, try to reach your heel back without bringing your body weight back. So heel is reaching down, but you are reaching forward, then you can stretch your calf really well. And once this is done, I have just one more exercise. So let's be on your hands and knees with the curled toes, and then step forward with your hands. Concentrate to your abs, lift up your knees, and go forward for a plank and go back, bending the knees front and the back. Let's do five, four, three, two, one, and go back, knees down, go back to, the, to your squat. Press your butter up. Make a deep inhale here. And for your exhale, roll yourself up. Standing. Make a big circle with your shoulders. And as you see, there is a lot of variation of the exercises, what you can do during this lovely nine months. I have just a couple of stretches left for you. So take a step forward with your right, bend the left knee, reach forward if it's necessary. Of course, you can help yourself holding something. Go stand up and switch and reach and slowly let's go up. Pull your shoulders back as we did at the beginning, reaching the middle of your head forward. Feel your straight back forward. Run your back, bring your hands above your head, but even further. Make a deep inhale, and for your exhale, straighten your back. Let's stand up, shake your arms. Shake your legs. And let's just do a couple of breathing now. Standing easily. Roll front and back. Knees are soft. Shoulders relaxed. Head is aligned. Close your eyes. And notice your breathing. Notice what feelings you have in your body. So let's just concentrate to your body but the first is your breath notice what is happening what is changing what is elevating what is lowering as you inhale and as you exhale but in the same time notice what different feelings you have in your body which muscles you feel They've been moved, they've been stretched. And with every single breath, try to make the breathing slower and slower. Deeper and deeper. And now let's make a deep inhale through your nose and a very slow exhale through your mouth. Now let's open your eyes and I wish you a lovely evening. I wish you all the best. I hope you feel good. I congratulate you for the, doing the exercises and for the baby as well. And take care.